a different bit of the marsh this morning. Just starting the walk. Or alert as the case may be. And it's sunny. And no fog. Which we've had for days and days and days. What are you doing, Brutal? What are you doing? Come on, Lottie, out of the way. Go. Good boy. Hello. Sit. Good boy. That's even quite good, even in a wet patch, soggy patch. Oh, wait. And free. He's quite happy to make his own way, although he does go with the girls as well. Maybe we perhaps ought to do a placing shot. Right, this is the first bit of the marsh, which gets flooded at high tide, which has been flat. And then we normally walk around over in that direction, just the other side of those that bank of things. And that in the distance is Cleethorpes. And up there are some beach huts. Brody disappearing having a look. And where that vehicle parked where the tarmac path is. And there's the car park, with my car in it. There's the vehicles. The path goes right the way along. That's past the steam train station. Along through the beach huts. And over towards that clump of trees is where I often meet Hunter. And then round. And the sea's over there. And back to where we started from. Although we've got no Brodel. Oh, there's Brodel. A bit more invented by himself now. He is going to say hello to me. Good boy! Good lad! Where did you go? Come on, off we go. And the sun's going behind a cloud. Well, it's not misty, we don't care. Go on then. This is the muddy bit I have to be careful walking over. I always have them on a lead. Because it does get routinely flooded. At most tides, high tides. This is very low high tide. And I'm renowned for sliding around. About an hour and a half off a not very high tide. There's the water. This is going out, leaving the marsh area. A volley. Hello, boys. Hello, girls. Oops, go on, then off you go again. This is the sort of the main dike that separates this part of the marsh from the beach. And this does get routinely flooded. Well, as you can see, it gets up to the beach. So I have to wade it, so I have to judge how deep it is. Why are we to wear wellies? Good dogs. Come on then, chaps.
Come on then. A little brutal. Good boy. Steady. Oops. Good boy. Sit. Good lad. Good girl, is he? Good boy. Gently. Okay, come on then. together. It's all better to stand still, but it's there. We can get rid of one. This is one of the waypoints on our walk. Quite often have a pause. There's some big lumps of timber that I can sit on. Complete with a big hole by Lottie and Lizzie the other day. So we came from over there, the car park. We cut alongside the inner part of the marsh. We just paddled over it. see that gentleman over there that's where the most seaward of the three sort of parallel running paths is as you see we paddle over the marsh and carry on and you pan on round and that's Cleethorpe's so we're sitting at the mouth of the Humber estuary Humber. That's where Spurn Point is, which is a nature preserve. And Brody, with his favourite toy, he's found this desiccated seabird about a week ago, and every time we come up here, he grabs it, although it's now falling to pieces rapidly. One leg he took onto the beach yesterday lost and this is the second leg which he found again today which he's rushing around throwing rather hoping someone might chase him but no one's volunteered as yet he doesn't mind see having Lottie having done the hole she's dug the other day as you can see it's very deep they spent a long time doing that but anyway so I think we'll get a rhythm on because the sky's